Okay, if you like Groove, uh, and give you all the things you need, if you're just looking to browse your CD collection that you've ripped to your uh, hard drive, and uh, has a nice interface and all that, then you don't need to worry about anything else. But if you're a little bit of an audiophile, there's quite a few of you out there, you're going to be very interested in uh, the new uh, release I just had for Windows 10 apps uh, of Music Bee. Now, Music Bee has been around as a desktop app, but now it's been converted into a uh, Windows app, and it's got many, many great features, and it's worth a look. I'm going to preface this with there's so many features, it's going to be impossible for me to cover them all, but we're going to try and do that, uh, at least some of them. First, I'm going to go to the store and look up Music Bee, and you'll find it right there. Um, and there it is. It's been available for uh, at this time about a week, uh, but it's got everything you want to know. Now, uh, people that don't realize it, there's a technology out that allows people to convert desktop apps into native Windows apps now. Uh, and this is one of them, and it did that. So anyways, we look around here, and we can find out uh, a little bit about uh, MusB. But let's get uh, right into it. So uh, we're in the store, and I've already downloaded it, and now I'm going to launch it. Uh, you see that it goes through a setup. You choose your language that's available to you. And it goes through this configuration where you can import stuff from uh, the Windows uh, Media for a player from iTunes, but here I'm going to turn off this because I don't store my music in these locations. I actually have a custom location, which all you have to do is go to wherever you store your music at. If it's not the default, you don't have to go through this, but I'm going to click on music, and there it is. Uh, there's what it is. So it's going to start scanning and uploading all my music. I have a medium-sized collection, so it took a few thousand songs, so it took a while, but there it is. It came up, and it's starting to populate. You see it's bringing in graphics over here. Uh, you have your list of all your artists here. You can click on them and you can see all these. Uh, these are all the cuts, by the way, from uh, Acoustic Alchemy. However, uh, you can change the way your, your list is showing. It can be by album instead. And you can go up here and you can select different kinds of uh, displays and things you want to have as how, how it shows the, each individual album. The left pane is customizable. The center pane is customizable. And over here, the other uh, pane is the uh, other one. But the layout uh, is, the detail here is unbelievable how much you can do. You can turn on the top uh, bars. You can turn off the bars. You can uh, decide what you want on it. Uh, it's really crazy the amount of options that are in here. For an audio file, this is going to be a, a really great experience if you haven't already discovered this uh, for regular Windows. Now, because of some crazy YouTube policies, I've turned off all music. You're not going to he actually hear the music, but suffice to say, it plays everything just fine. As a matter of fact, there's some features here uh, that you're going to love about the quality of music you get. But I just went over here to a Dan Fogelberg song over here, uh, longer, and you can see that uh, if you hit play, by the way, that highlighted one won't necessarily play. It was whatever you uh, were playing last. You have to double-click on it to play. Uh, that's the first little tip uh, I have for you. And if you right-click on it, you'll see all the uh, different options that are available from looking right at uh, uh, just the track, that particular track options. So by either double-clicking on it or right-clicking on it and then uh, say Play Now, you see that the interface uh, will change and show you the tracks, uh, not only the tracks, but the album cover. You'll see everything about uh, uh, what you're doing on here, depending upon your, uh, your selection. And by simply using the top menu up here, if you click on Now Playing, you'll see all the information about the song. Here's even the lyrics uh, for this particular song. If I click on Playlist here, you'll see that it comes up with its own playlist, recently added, recently played, uh, Top 25. Click on the uh, Music Explorer. Here's uh, the albums. This is a four set here. Uh, all sorts of information available to you simply by clicking here. And here's another one, Audio DJ, which has various parameters for setting up your own automatic DJ and uh, playing a uh, batch of songs. It's a really powerful utility. Now moving on from some of these uh, features here that are available for files and all that, let's take a look at the view for a second. If we go over to the view menu, you'll see that it's on the player, uh, and we can change it to different modes. It's a little hard to see up here in the corner by the icon up top, but there's a little mini player there. Uh, it's uh, available... Uh, on screen uh, above any other program. 
Now here I've maximized it again, but I'm going to go to the compact view and you'll see here it's a nice little uh, compact display uh, with exactly the same view we saw before. Uh, you can change all sorts of things. Uh, let's move on a little bit to the skins. The amount of skins available for this are ridiculous. And you can apply different uh, looks. Once you apply it, uh, it'll actually come up and reboot the uh, app and you can change how it looks, uh, the number, the type of skin you want to see. Um, all these things are uh, adjustable just simply by using the menu. So we bring it up again, and there's the default music beat, which is a pretty nice interface for the compact mode. So here's another one, another uh, look. Uh, and again, the types and amount of changes that you can make to customize this to your own, are it's crazy. Uh, and plus the fact they have plugins, by the way. So here's another view of another of you you may like to have. Now here I am back in the main mode, and you can customize this look as well, uh, not just uh, the mini mini modes. Oh, uh, let's go to select one. Uh, there's all sorts here. You just grab and choose one. You have to play around with a little bit, and you might never know what you come up with. This one I don't find particularly appeasing, but. Uh, yeah, you can just play around. Again, too many settings to do it, uh, too many looks. Just click on something and see if, see if you like it. It'll shut down and reboot itself uh, with this mode, which is the basic black mode, which I may probably uh, stay with myself. Okay, here's a, here's another one that's uh, coming up. And this was the one I, I guess I'm going to stay with. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, as we change our view, there's uh, different uh, uh, ways to look at it. And now playing. The playlist, uh, the explorer, uh, all these different things uh, that allow you to uh, customize the look and really see what's uh, your layout or your music in a, in a great, uh, great layout. And by the way, under the layout, there's some hidden features. Like, for example, you highlight it, you click on a oh, album, you get the, you get the, the the file list right there. So there's so many hidden features in this. You just have to spend hours, maybe days. Uh, going in here and finding out uh, what you like and how it uh, how it works. You know, enough of the layout. Let's talk a little bit about uh, some other features that it has to do with music. Uh, so we're going to turn on the equalizer, and you'll see here it has an equalizer built in. And uh, we're on the default manual setting. And uh, there's basically some other uh, settings down here. But if you go up to the top, you'll see uh, that you have some preset uh, ones as well. So we uh, click on the drop down up top here, and you see we go to manual. You notice here it has an auto, which by genre. So this is really cool because you don't have to switch back and forth. You can just tell it by the listing of the song, which is in the metadata for the song. It will automatically select any one of these equalizers uh, for that particular one. Or if you like a particular one, uh, you can manually set it yourself. You have unlimited, again, possibilities here, just like you had in view and how your, your song playback is handled by the equalizer. Now again, you can also uh, do things like skip silence down here, uh, stereo enhancer. Again, because of YouTube, I'm not playing back any songs on this uh, video, but you'll have to listen to yourself if you want to uh, use enhanced uh, enhancements down there as well. And uh, for uh, all you uh, guys out there that remember the days of visualizers and that, uh, they have a bunch of visualizers uh, uh, in. So all you have to do is uh, go here. There's the visualizer. And you have to play your song. And your visualizer starts doing whatever. Again, ton of visualizers available. More available for download. Um, so uh, if you're into that, uh, go ahead and uh, go check out that uh, configuration as well. Now the last feature I'm going to talk about is your uh, edit tag feature. Uh, there's many more to talk about, but this one I want to discuss because a lot of people are interested in setting up custom tags and all that. You can just use that uh, interface to do whatever you want uh, as far as tag goes. So there you go. The most full features music app for uh, Windows 10 or any platform for that matter. If you love Winamp or if you love iTunes, uh, Take a look at this. It's absolutely free, although I would uh, visit their website and uh, make a donation because uh, a lot of work's gone into this. But you've got to love this program. 
Uh, hope you enjoy.